Yes, 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 it's Monday morning. I'm ready to go, all rested after a good weekend. Down to two people this week, just me and Jacob. Kev and Craig are up on a job that we did just before Christmas, a driveway, so they're back there. The plants have come for that, so they've got trees going in and planting, so they'll be gone for most of the week. To be honest, that hasn't come in a bad time, really, because it sounds funny saying this, but there isn't a great deal that we can actually get stuck into at the moment. Firstly, because at the back here, normally I'd start flagging this area. We've got some brick slot drains to go in, which need to go in first, which we'll be doing in a couple of days. But I'd start normally by flagging this area and then work back. But we can't do that because we're waiting for the tilers to sort their layout on the inside because the internal floor has got to run in lines through to the external. So they're not ready to set that out yet, which is a bit frustrating. So we can't do anything here, like I said. Round the front, we started on the patio, as you saw last week. But we can't finish that off because we haven't got the treads for the steps because they've been sent off to be mitered, uh, glued and finished. So hopefully we'll get them back in a few days. So we're just going to be looking for things to do. There is stuff that we can do, but the plant hasn't come at a bad time, really. So just me and Jacob. So hopefully we'll bring you enough content to keep you entertained and we'll still be moving this job forward. Weather looks good, let's go. So this is where, whoa, thank you. <laughs> so this is where Craig and Kev are working for the next few days. Some of you will recognise this job that we did uh, back end of last year. We did all this driveway and pathways around the front of the property and we're back here to do some planting. The ground, Looks really poor, which isn't great, but so I've got to dig five trees out that side, five trees out this side, and then we've got planting going right the way round these pathways and down there replacing that laurel hedge. So as I said, that hasn't come at a bad time because it's not a massive amount we can get on with it, the other job. So this will keep the boys busy for a bit. And here's another delivery of plants as we speak. So in Kev's absence, this week we've got Jake on the mixer. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Special K, special J. <laughs>
most flights up there against the house, house eight holes it in and we've just worked out our levels uh, in relation to the coach house down there so we've worked out it's a 300 drop onto the grass level so we've obviously split that in two we'll have two at 150 so that's a nice step right the way around so we're just clearing off this there's actually a footing in there so we're going to be able to just build up off that the original footing that was in for the steps so that's it we're out there and more digging now let's go We worked out our height off the footing and um, we couldn't quite fit a block in so Jacob's was down about 25 mil off all these blocks so now we can fit them in so we're going to get these lines squared up and set them in Life's not infinite, it's the only chance we get, so why are we waiting, why are we waiting, will it click, looking for the next new fix, is this the new kind of sick, why are we waiting, why are we waiting, they say they have the answer. But no one's getting better They say they have the answer So it's paid and enter And isn't life funny? Make some money Spend it all to feel less crummy And think that we've made it ourselves think about the hands with them all our guilt think that we've made it think that we've made it yes wednesday morning we're back at it there's loads going on in the garden today. We've got electricians, we've got guys fitting the cladding to the external of the building and tilers. 
We're going to work around them as best as we can. Uh, we're going to backfill the step that we built yesterday and then mainly tidying and moving materials around, just keeping everything organised and, and clean as best as we can. I've got to shoot up and see Kevin Craig on their job, take them some bits on the planting job that they're doing. So not a great deal going on, but step in the right direction. Let's get to it. Yes, just here with Craig and Kev. The rain's just started coming down, giving the plants a little water. They've got all these to go in. Great selection here. Another job designed by Robert Hughes. So they've got one bed done there. All those are laid out, ready to go in. A lot of trees, 10 trees, so we've got five either side. Box head trees, they're going to look stunning. Absolutely shocking ground. Stone right the way down, 800 deep, and they're still hitting stone. Oh, they've got a cup of tea there, that's not too bad. Yeah, doing great. Keep it up, lads. Yes, the boys. <laughs> they're still smiling. Nice delivery just turned up. These are Eco brick slot drains, so nice and narrow, that's all you see at the top. And then the paving gets laid over this, this is the corner unit. And then there's the main, main drain that's used on the air, uh, on the runs. And then we've also got a inspection hatch, so that lifts out and the paving again goes inside it. Which I'll show you again when we, when we fit that. But at least we've got those, so hopefully we'll be able to get on to putting them in tomorrow if everyone clears from the bottom area. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water so I'm in this corner, out of the way of things, and just gonna take this lid off. This is just for access for cables, so it's not an inspection chamber. I'm just gonna take that off, cut it down and replace it with this recessed tray so that'll sit flush with the paving and then when we flag this, it'll go right through. So all you'll see it's just the rim around the edge and you've still got access. So I'll whisk that off and we'll get started. We're not as much as the stars. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love. And you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories. All the remedies, yeah. I promise I won't forget. Just gone quarter past six and I'm about to leave site. I've got to say that was the most frustrating day I've had since we've started this project. There was nothing like big, like one thing that went wrong. In fact, nothing nearly went wrong to be honest, but it was just, there was just loads going on uh, and there was nothing we could really get stuck into. And I was gone off the day, so Jacob was on his own. He'd, he'd done great, he'd done everything he could do. And I just never, I felt like I never really got into my stride at all during the day. Um, stayed on late, so I say stayed late. I've, I've been after six o'clock every night this week anyway. But yeah, a little, little bit frustrating, a bit demoralised, but you're going to get days like that. I've been in the game long enough to know you're going to get days like that. But then on the other hand, you'll get days where 
you'll fly through it and they're really productive so just got to stay positive and one thing for sure we'll be back again to do it, do it all again <laughs> that cover's gone off all set now so we're ready to cut around that we've got more threshold terrains to go round here loads of loads of obstacles to get round we've got this which is a vent for uh, the cellar so we're going to take that off and we're going to change it to a square so it's going to look better and be easier to cut round look neater we've got drains there and we've also got a tap here which is going to be going on so i spoke with the clients and we're going to pull this threshold drain off the tap there because we've got the step which sticks out we've got the lucky cable and the tap so we're just going to pull the whole thing off that and then we're going to put a cutter flag on this side and we're going to put gravel there against the building that's what we we've decided is the best way around it so yeah little airy but very fiddly <laughs> Searching high and low And right now you don't know where to go Right now you hear the thunder roar Right now it feels like you lost the war Call on me. 
Friday morning. Bit of a blowy one today. I'm on my own again. I've got, get the violins out. Craig and Kev are still planting up there on the other job and Jacob is off today. So it's just me. Again, not loads to get on with, so it's not a too, too bad a thing. And I'll keep busy. No matter what, there's always something to do. No matter what the circumstances, there's always something you can get off on with. So I'll make a start now and see what we can get on. So as you've seen there, I've just concreted this strip like the way round. This is just going to be a path at the bottom of the steps. The reason why I've done that is sometimes on small or narrow areas where you can't get in with the whacker from various angles, I like to put a bit of concrete in. So I've just mixed some cement in with the MOT, nice and wet, and just put that in. So that'll be good to pave on next week. Not essential, but sometimes I like to do that on tight or small areas. So now I'm just gonna go in that corner now and fit these threshold drains where I paved yesterday. Just gotta bend it down there and there and then a little slither at the back there. Changed her 
That's it, another week done on the coach house garden. It's been a decent week, weather's been good. Not the not going great guns because we haven't had the full team here as you see in Craig and Kev have been doing planting, so just me and Jacob and then just me on my bill today. But it went well, it went well. Got this top area finished now, we're just waiting on the steps so we can finish it properly grout it and then move stuff that's stored on the other patio onto this we should be getting the go ahead next week on the laying pattern well the line for the sunken area at the bottom because once the tilers have, have laid out where they put on theirs their tiles we want to run in with them hopefully it's where it works good for us as well and yeah we'll be able to crack on with that area so there'll be be nice to see some paving going on down there in that part. Ideally, I would have started there uh, probably over a week ago now and worked our way back up. But be nice to get it in there and start to see that getting transformed. But for now, that's it. See you next week. Here's me signing off two years there, but I've got to go up now to the job that Craig's on. Pick the digger up, bring it back to this job. Drop the trailer off and then maybe, maybe I've time for a pint on my own. <laughs> Let's have a little look how they've got on. Wow. Wow. That is impressive. So we've got all these to go in as well. Yeah. Lost that. Ground was shocking as you saw. We've got all this done. This bed's finished. There's more plants in there, which will be coming up soon. I'm no expert on plants. I just know the green side up, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, I know a little bit. But uh, yeah, looks amazing now. Let's get this digger loaded on and away.
tell you what, this first one isn't going to touch the sides. You set my soul on fire.